Hi folks, we're back with Hardland. Alright, so as you'll recall, we just killed the Gargantuan Goblin King who apparently ate the damn birthday cake that was stolen, but I can't find any trace of the cake itself. Now, I mean, I thought to myself, well, maybe I just have to, like, bust him open, but... Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> but, uh, I don't think we can break him open. And I don't think that anyone would want the cake... Um, after it's been <laughs> retrieved from the Goblin King. Um, now, I don't want to mess with this vase that's on fire. Because I just have a feeling that I'll set myself on fire and I will die. So instead, I'm going to take on... or forgotten. This is a little different from your typical zombie. Probably a little more powerful. Not exactly... ooh, there's a chest up there. Not exactly sure what we can do with... Uh, the, the hearts of these different creatures. But, it must be something. Oh shit, put that shield up. Still have a little bit of time, a little bit of time, a little bit of a problem targeting people. But uh, we'll figure that out. Skeleton chest opens with a majestic key. Okay, so we certainly don't have a majestic key. Right. What's up with this rock? Hmm. Seems like... We can bust it up, huh? Alright, just for the sake of curiosity, I just want to see what happens. It's probably just going to break into smaller pieces like it's already doing. Again, this is just morbid curiosity. Alright, so the rock explodes, and that's it. Alright, that's what I expected. Alright, so that ghoul does not look... Very nice. What could we use here? Um, we could use the the true cross. I wonder how powerful it'll be against this guy. It didn't do much against the Goblin King. Can't even see the projectile, so I don't. Is the projectile really like landing right in front of me? You gotta be like right in front of him. That doesn't do much. Oh lord, this is not a regular skeleton. Let's, uh, let's run. Hopefully he won't keep following me. Alright, good. So let's switch back to this hammer. I gotta say, I'm a bit disappointed in the crossbows so far. Okay, here's the plan. We're just gonna... We're gonna run through there. Instead of fighting. If I could fight one at a time, that would be cool. But that skeleton's right there. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. Decent block. That block is not helping me so much. Yeah, that's weak. Every time I block, I still lose a lot of health. Let's eat a watermelon, please. Piece of watermelon was delicious. Does not seem to be raising my health. How about the ham? There we go. I wonder what the watermelon... Maybe it's like a stamina regeneration thing instead of... Oh, that hurt pretty badly. Yeah, I'm not fighting this dude anymore. Can I eat some ham again or what? Oh, shit, zombie. I could turn on my torch and that would scare the zombie away. I want to eat some ham. Is it that I don't have any left, but it's just still there? That's kind of odd. That might be what it is. Let's put the cinnamon bun there. Yeah. I see. So even when you run out, it's it, the icon is still there. Let's eat another cinnamon bun. These aren't helping my health all that much. Okay, I'm just gonna run past this dude. Yeah, put my torch on. Oh, that's appropriate enough. It's a graveyard. See if there's anything cool around here. Ooh, another skeleton. Fishbone. We'll pick that up. Not sure what it would be used for, but we'll pick it up. 
All right, so are we? So we're technically st here. We're technically with still within the the town limits, I guess. Mm -hmm. Guild volunteer. Oh, that's the guy that calls me handsome boy. I'm staying away from that guy. Let's bust these up here for the hell of it. All right. As usual, the undead are frightened of fire, which is awesome. Which is always good. Oh, medium health potion. Which is always good news when they're scared of fire. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Alright. Okay, I need to equip this health potion. Uh, oh, I forgot about the poison. Hmm. I don't know why poison would work on the skeleton guy, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on the old chicken mask. I'm going to get us a chicken minion. I think we can only get one. Or is that two? Are they both going to follow me? Well, let's get three if that's the case. And I want some chickens of death to come help me here. Yeah, well, we got two chickens following us. Okay. Ow. Gotta remember I don't have a shield at all when I'm equipped with this stuff. Uh, let's drink that health potion. Where are my chickens? Here we are. Three chickens. Let's do this. Oh, that barely did anything to them. Come back here and fight my chickens. Kill. Oh, they're running from him. That's weak. But they are distracting him. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, these chickens... Well, they could do a little more to help. That's not the best. How about the poison? I don't know how to use the poison is the problem. Like, if I press... Five. Can I, like, th throw it at him or something? I don't know how to do it. Let's right-click. I'll probably take it myself. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's stupid. Okay, so the bottle of poison is not something you could, like, use on a weapon. You, you drink it and you kill yourself. Good to know. Alright, so as usual, we forgot to save at any point there. So, but really, the only thing that happened was we killed... A bunch of zombies. I wonder if the torch will work to scare them away in the daytime. Nope. Only at night. Okay. Um, you know what? I want to risk the flamethrower. Even though I always kill myself with it. It just makes things a lot easier. When we're killing zombies. Oh yeah. That is much, much easier. I got one hiding there. Not anymore. One hiding there. Okay, so at this point we'll save. <laughs> Just having killed those zombies. Yeah, as long as I avoid blowing myself... See, look at my health. Was I hurting my... I had to have been hurting myself with it, but I just... I don't understand how it works. So, we'll eat that ham. I don't... I just don't get it. It's go time. Oh, that's much better. That shit's over with. I'm standing in water. You know what I'm thinking is... Ooh, ice wand. I'm thinking that maybe... The problem is, like, I was shooting at that ghoul while I was on higher ground, and maybe I was, like, pointing my crossbow down and it was ricocheting off the ground. I don't know. Okay, what what, what the fuck? What the, what the fuck was that? That's, that's what I'm talking about. So I guess it just makes sense that if there's a weapon that's awesome, it, it has to have just an inexplicable flaw. Maybe I just need to aim higher up with my, my camera angle? I don't know. Let's try this again. Or 
Or maybe I was... Too cl I don't know. This seems to be doing a lot less damage than it did last time. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we pick up the Ice Wand, and we're actually going to switch to that real quick, because I'm hoping the Ice Wand's not going to fucking kill me as soon as I use it. Level 4, that's what level we are. That's awesome. Look at that damage. I love it. Alright, save time. I'm going to have to save a lot more often than I normally would, just because I could explode at any time. That's what it seems like. Handled that skeleton in one shot. Okay, so... R.I.P. Guildmaster Olga. Volunteer Yasmin. Adventures Guild won't be the same last. Okay, so this must be specifically people who have died from the Adventures Guild. Yeah, a resting place of the heroes of Hardland. Okay. Alright, so again, I haven't come across the, the damn birthday cake. Um, let's go back and talk to this dude one more time. Okay. We've already done all this. Tell me about the door. That's right. Okay. Let's see what's up here. Can we go inside? Oh, that's the one that's stuck. I gotcha. Feels incredibly sturdy unlike any other wood you've encountered. Okay, so where is this alleged goblin forest? Let's save. They said the cake would either be found at the Adventurer's Guild or in the Goblin Forest. I don't know what exactly constitutes the Goblin Forest, but here's some goblins. What are y'all doing here still? That was just one. Okay. I figured, you know, killing the Goblin King would that that would be the Goblin Forest? I, I don't know. Okay, what we got here? Yeah, we get some pretty decent damage with this Ice Staff. Got the Medium Healing Potion, that's nice. Put that here. Get rid of that poison, there's absolutely no frickin' reason whatsoever to use that. What the hell is... I guess it just means it's... empty or something. Okay, it's getting darker. So, alright, so we've explored this area. It's telling us we're going back to Fortuna. Get the torch going. So we have not gone that way, we haven't gone this way. So we cannot go this way right now. Let's go over here. And let's save. Just periodically need to do that. There's no uh, quick save keybind that I'm aware of, and also at this point you're unable to change the keybinds. But otherwise, obviously if I had a keybind for it, I would do that. Alright, doesn't seem to be anything here. That looks fairly foresty. See if we can cross over here, yeah. Alright, this is that screwed up bridge. Alright. Haven't gone this way on this particular run. May have run around this way on an earlier one where I forgot to save. Possibly. Okay, so we have been here. This is, yeah, to the Adventurer's Guild. Over here, it looks like I would drown trying to get over there. Oh, we go this way. Alright. The fuck's with that skeleton in the water? Oh, I didn't even see the one right in front of me. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Castle up there. I kind of want to go check it out. I kind of, but I want to fill in the, my mini map a little bit right here. And we'll run over here. Looks like the sun's coming up again. Well, let's go check this out. Hmm. 
should be able to hop up here, I think. Now, can we get up here? No. Maybe we can try jumping around. Yeah. There we go. That's the ticket. I don't think there's any point in being up here. Uh, yeah. There we go. Oh, come on now. Hmm. I probably got to jump to there. Well, I'll be damned. That seems like a bit of a dead end. Whoops. As is this. I could try jumping up there, but I didn't want I didn't want this to happen. <laughs> it would like glitch through something. All right. Where the hell? Let me get to this damn castle. Let's see if we can get around to the front without falling in the water and drowning. Alright, yeah, there does not appear to be an easy way to... I don't think it's accessible to me right now. I wonder how far up this thing I can go. Oh, well, holy shit. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder... I wonder if we could do a similar thing. These rock faces look a little too sheer to just run up them like that. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Alright, so as far as I can tell, that castle is inaccessible right now. Let's turn this damn torch off. And let's save. Okay. And, let's see. We have the map. What is this question mark? I don't know, but that's good. I need to find out what that is. Am I going in the right direction? I can't really tell which way I'm, f oh, I'm facing that. Okay. Still getting used to the iconography on the map there. I don't think I went the right way. That yeah, did. Well, kind of. It's to my left of that question mark. Is isn't that where all the zombies were? Ooh, just got a bunch of shit there. Cool. I definitely need to sell some shit to. Alright, let's zoom in here. God damn it. Okay, now I now I kinda see. So the question mark is over here? Right? Kinda dislike that I have to zoom in every damn time. I guess it's this grave. You wonder who's buried here. Was that what that was? Yes, that's exactly what that was. Well, shit. Okay, so we've got some more areas to explore, really. I'm trying to find this goblin forest. Let's turn around and go back. Oh, some more gold. Uh, we need to sell stuff anyway. Check. Oh, I can just use my mini-map. I don't know why I'm checking that every time. I got a door here. Young villager. Guildmaster was carried away from the tavern last night by two guards. He was really drunk. <laughs> Warrior of one day like to eat carrots. Well, wouldn't we all? I saw a group of bandits. He shot three of them with a blunderbuss and choked the last one with his bare hands. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to fuck with those traveling merchants, dude. They're not playing around. Opens with a small key. I have one. Oh, Awesome. A few more coins lying around here. Okay. Let's get... Alright, so a save is in order. Okay. We could keep going this way a little. This will just take us to the walls, the Fortuna walls, okay.
Now let's take a look over here. So this leads somewhere new. Some signage would be nice. Oh, there's a sign over there. Is this guy going to say anything? No. What does this say? Please say Goblin Forest. No, Cathedral. That seems a little foreboding. We're definitely not prepared to go to a cathedral right now. Nothing... I mean, you'd think, oh, that's a place where good stuff happens. No, not in RPGs. Hey, Larry the Drunk. Um... Tell me about the Guildmaster. Good guy, frequents the tavern all as much as I do. Do you want a drink? Or what do you have in mind? Oh, I don't have any beer. Oh, whoops, whoops, damn it. Alright, leave. Can I get in his house? I can, but I mean, it's a drunk's house. What the hell am I going to find in there, aside from empty bottles? Alright. So I'm going to circle around here real quick. This seems new. What is this? Oh, that's old Toby. One of the village. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I already talked to him in a previous incarnation. Alright, let's go sell some stuff. Now, I wonder if I should go straight to the blacksmith. Or if you just do the mystery trader, I guess, right? Okay. So I don't need a wooden sword at all. So I just equipped it like a dumbass. I want to sell it. Did that work? I think it did. And then this hammer we still can't use. I, I don't know what the poison is for. We can get rid of one of those and another one. I don't know how to break the stack open. Try shift clicking or control clicking. That doesn't do anything. Um. I need to make sure I have both right and left. Some of these are little... Okay, yeah. The fork, I don't give a shit. Skulls, don't care, but if they're worth something... Oh, it gives you armor. Hmm. Well, shit. Don't care about no dead chicken. Give me the money. Potato, might need that at some point. I certainly don't want that happen. Maybe someone will come looking for it. Don't care about the frying pan, or the bloody pitchfork, or the spoon, that... Just don't care. Get armor from the hearts, that's interesting. Rusty sword, get rid of that. Uh, well, again, I don't know how to break these damn stacks. I wonder if I try to sell it if it'll ask me. Probably not, it'll just sell all three. Oh no, it sells one at a time, okay, cool. So you can definitely sell some of these suicidal crossbows, which I hate. We've already got a shield, which this is 500. Oh, we're using the weak-ass shield. Oh, well. Maybe. Yeah, we'll hold on to it for now. Uh, and then we got a bunch of food. Let's sell one of those. A couple of those. And, uh, as much as I like the Cavalier hat, goodbye. Alright, we got a decent amount of money now. I don't really want to buy anything that they were offering. So that's cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me take a quick look here. Now when we go to repair... Let's see. See, like, I'm not sure where to see the durability of... I don't even know if you repair weapons. Like, what would happen doesn't do anything. Maybe it has to be armor. But again, like I can't I can't see the the durability here. Nothing happens. Maybe the repair function like isn't maybe it's not active. I'm going to have to look into that. Anyway, that'll be that for this episode. I'd like to thank you guys as always for tuning in. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this particular series and we'll be back soon with some more Hardland. He does not want to look at the camera, does he? Look at this bastard. He just refuses to look at me. <laughs> anyway, goodbye, folks.